And now to Yemen, where dozens of people, including children, have been killed in a new round of coalition airstrikes. It happened at a busy market in the northwest part of the country earlier today. The Saudi-led and U.S.-backed coalition is fighting against Yemen's Shiite rebels, known as the Houthis. The coalition says today's airstrikes targeted missile launchers in the area. And this latest attack comes as the Associated Press reveals the coalition paid some al-Qaeda fighters to leave key battle areas in Yemen. And at times, militants have also joined the coalition, putting them on the same side as the United States in the war. I wanted to say that slowly. For more now on this investigation, I want to bring in Lee Keith. He's the Middle East Enterprise Editor for the Associated Press, and he worked on this report. And it is quite a report, Lee. I wanted to say it slowly so people could sort of understand what you guys have uncovered. The coalition forces are Saudi-led. They're backed by the United States. Their job is to fight the rebels in the region. Explain what your investigation uncovered. Well, what we found was that the uh, the coalition, which is which is both fighting the, uh, the the Shiite rebels and at the same time fighting supposed to be fighting Al Qaeda um, in Yemen, in many cases uh, reached secret deals with Al Qaeda for it to pull out of some of its strongholds in southern Yemen. Uh, this saved a lot of fighting. Uh, to try to ex extract these militants from these areas. What these deals involved in most cases was allowing them to leave peacefully with whatever weapons and money they had looted over the time that they ruled these regions. Uh, but in some cases we found that uh, some that militants were actually paid, um, paid amounts to, uh, to, leave, uh, to leave these areas. Um, what we've also found is that uh, Al Qaeda uh, militants are involved in the fight against the Shiite Houthis. Um, they've Lee? often been act. Yes, Lee. I want you. We, there, we heard the uh, ambulance or something going by, but I want you to say say that again. What you just said, because it was hard to hear, and I know it's important. Yeah, sure, of course. It was uh, what well, we also found that Al Qaeda militants are often on the front lines fighting against the Houthis alongside. Uh, coalition-backed forces, often, sometimes even as members of those forces, which uh, which turn to Al Qaeda to recruit its fighters. Um, these are Yemeni militias um, that are often funded and uh, and, and armed by the uh, by the coalition. Um, and the simple fact is that Al Qaeda fighters are good fighters often, and so they make um, they make uh, they make effective forces against the Houthis, and the Al Qaeda is equally determined to defeat the Houthis for its own reason reasons. I, I, it's surprising to me, though, that they'd be willing to be paid a to walk away, but or also to sort of join the other side. Are they not committed as committed as one would might think when you join Al Qaeda? Uh, well, one of one of the uh, one of the Al Qaeda members that uh, that we spoke to actually said this is on orders to concentrate on the fight on, against the Houthis mm. um, over previous battles against the Yemeni government or against uh, uh, foreign uh, foreign forces um, in Yemen. Um, so this is a this is a determined strategy by Al Qaeda. Um, they have their own reasons for uh, hating the Houthis. Uh, there are sectarian factors to it. Uh, the Al Qaeda is a militant Sunni group, and the uh, the uh, Houthis are Shiites. Um, but there's uh, there's also just the, the the facts on the ground that uh, that Al Qaeda um, doesn't want this group controlling the country. Right. So how's the Pentagon reacting to your report? The Pentagon uh, strongly denied that there was any uh, cooperation or, or payment with Al Qaeda. It said we don't uh, we don't pay Al Qaeda. We we kill Al Qaeda, um, which uh, um, I would just add. I would just note on that 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 our our report did not find any U.S. money going directly into these forces. Uh, the U.S. Um, arms the coalition or sells weapons to the to the uh, Saudi-led coalition. Um, but uh, but the idea of, of the U.S. actually uh, funneling money to Al Qaeda is not in there. Um, this report is a, a, an example of top notch top notch reporting. It is hard to report from inside Yemen. How were you able to get some of these Al Qaeda fighters and other officials to talk to you? 
Well, I mean, our, our excellent lead reporter on all on this is, is Maggie, uh, Maggie Michael, who is a, a very uh, brave and determined uh, journalist who's been to Yemen multiple times. She did the, uh, the gra- on the ground reporting for this story. Um, and uh, um, she she just goes everywhere. I mean, she she goes uh, all over. The, she's been all over the South. Um, she's built up contacts with uh, with militia fighters, with uh, with government officials. Um, she's uh, met from all sides, and Al Qaeda is a is a uh, is a is a is a factor on the ground. They do have a media operation um, that uh, that uh, is contactable um, and through uh, and and often we contact. She contacted them through. Uh, from, from times it was from outside the country, um, there were also meetings uh, inside the country with, uh, um, with members that uh, she had uh, come to know. You know, as a result of this ongoing conflict, there is a truly devastating uh, humanitarian crisis unfolding in the region. Um, there's starvation, there's a uh, cholera is a concern. How is the United States impacting the situation there by continuing to support the Saudi-led coalition? Well, the the U.S. support has been has been vital for the coalition. They 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 not only sell it, uh, provide it with with weaponry, they also um, provide the coalition with uh, intelligence for targeting um, and logistical help, like uh, refueling uh, uh, refueling warplanes. Um, there was a um, there was a period when the U.S. Uh, pulled out its uh, some of its advisors to the coalition um, because of worries of, of of the impact of the war. But uh, but they've been they've been back there now, and uh, the war really has been devastating. I mean, the, there's. Uh, uh, both from 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 all sides, um, it's uh, there's been widespread destruction around the country, um, and as you said, uh, um, there's a lot of danger of starvation. Uh, Lee Keith, thank you so much. You and your team did a top-notch job on this report. Really appreciate it. Thank you.